back. Sorry I lost my cool in the last segment. Just puppet gets to me every now and again. Folks, what do talking bean cans, women with huge thumbs, and a monkey with a past life have in common? They all can be found in the work of my next guest. He's the author of Even Cowgirls Get the Blues and the new Half Asleep in Frog Pajamas. Please welcome Tom Robbins. <laughs> doesn't look a thing like Pee Wee's Playhouse. No, they booked you in the wrong gig, Tom. I'm terribly yeah. sorry. It's the only show I've ever watched. Pee Wee's Playhouse? Uh, I'm uh, still upset that they took him off the air. Did you tape any? I mean, did they really think that little children wouldn't understand? No, I think little children understand. Of all no. people. No, I understand. I mean, even as we sit here tonight, little children are... Tom? Pee Wee's going to get another gig. You'll see. Uh, He'll be back. You just got to press on. All right. I like your books. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, there's such odd characters in them. And I always, that always sort of blew my mind. And then I read that uh, you sort of, did you grow up in a circus or? <laughs> or you... No, just a typical dysfunctional family. Oh, OK. I, I did um, run away. Oh, I didn't run away. I got a job with a circus when I was 13. Oh, yeah? Spent a, a summer watering the llamas. Watering the llamas? And they had an alligator in a long wooden box terrible uh, way to display a living creature. Yeah. But it couldn't move very much and it got algae on its back, so I scrubbed its back with uh, a wire brush. Didn't it Which, ever uh, try and chomp you or anything? Or? Well, I think s scrubbing the back of the beast is um, probably good preparation for being a novelist. Scrubbing the back of a beast and being a novelist is pretty similar? Yeah, you're pretty much scratching the, uh, the monster. Scratching the monster? Well, that's one way to put it. That's, that's an interesting way to put things. <laughs> I always thought scratching the monster was something else, but um, that's okay. Now, you, you uh, in your books, here, here's the thing that I always think about novelists. When I was in college, the English professors or the people in the English department, they're always the smoothest with the ladies. Now, you, sir, being a, a best-selling author, you must be quite handy in that department. Mm, I don't, don't really know what you're getting at. Well, Tom, I'll spell it out for you. <laughs> The ladies. Now, I read that you're quite a ladies' man. That you, you actually. Oh, no, I'm a married man, John. All right. Now, how recent is that? Uh, well, it's, <laughs> it's, it's recent. Uh huh. Yeah. But before that, because uh, I'd read that you like to have ladies get tattoos for you. Well, no, they didn't get tattoos for me, but I used to buy tattoos for ladies. I still do if they want it. If a lady wants a tattoo, I'll buy her a tattoo. How do you bring that up? Just well, I mean. It, Everybody needs a hobby. True. <laughs> well, that's nice. So instead of like a jigsaw puzzle or something like that, you. Yeah. What's the have you gone out with a girl and she's gotten you know TR on her arm or it's oh, usually oh, different. No, no, no. A map of Spain or uh, an aardvark or something. Ah. You know, something trendy usually. Something trendy. Yes, the aardvark was very in. <laughs> yeah. Well, you couldn't expect the anteater to last very long. No, not at all. Here, here's something else I read that may help things. You, you, you think read uh, a lot. Huh? I do read a lot, especially the, the notes before I come out here. <laughs> Psychedelics apparently play a large part in your life. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What would you say? Uh, I say uh, I have a refresher course now and then. Uh huh. Uh, oh no, I can. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. How does that, if, for a novelist who needs such discipline in his life? Doesn't that, you know, does that throw you off? Oh, I, I don't uh, write under the influence. Oh, okay. See, that was my trouble when I was doing stand-up. I'd always write something under the influence, mm -hmm. and then the next yeah, morning you mistake. go, Oh, chocolate yeah. bunny. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just leave it in. So. <laughs> do you do re do, you, do you work on the computers now, right? No, no. Um, longhand. Right. I, just, I like to watch that ink soak into the wood pulp. Yeah. I'm a wood pulp junkie. No, I'm the same way about yeah. wood pulp. Always have been. Were you upset about even Cowgirls Get the Booze? Did you see the movie? Oh, yeah. That's like, What'd you no, think? I wasn't upset about it. When, you know, it was uh, financed and distributed by Fine Line Features. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were off to Cannes to promote another movie. And uh, I got a telephone call from them, and they said they had just gotten in the, the reviews from the States. And right. uh, 200 reviews, and all 200 were bad. 
All 200. All 200. And my heart just soared. Really? And I thought, you know, such purity. That is, I mean, it's hard to achieve. Where can you find that kind of consensus? Only when you're scratching the monster. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the, the consensus in general is, is your books are marvelous, and, and I get a lot of enjoyment out of reading them. And this new one, Half Asleep in Frog Pajamas, I'm very much looking forward to reading. And uh, I want to thank you for coming by and talk. Actually, will you stay for, uh, for the music and everything and stick around for a bit? My pleasure. Oh, thank you very much. Tom Robbins, Coolio's going to be here when we come back.